I'm a big, uh, I don't know, I guess anarchist in the marketing community because I disagree in the existence of Gen Z as the target audience mm. uh, for various reasons. For one, I'm not sure how you can group billions of people, I think by now, into a singular target audience. Like, for example, I, by some definitions, am a Gen Z, but then like from my background, from where I, uh, where I was born, how I was raised, I don't really fall into the same category. So like, I'm not sure how Gen Z works, which is weird because like, I'm trying to get some Gen Z marketers to debate with me on the podcast and nobody comes <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> but what I want to ask you is like, have you seen any difference in the way uh, people react to advertisements, whether they be older people, millennials or older, or being younger people like Gen Z's or alphas, do they have different responses to the messages, to the hooks, to the calls to actions? Uh, yes, I would say that there are generational differences. Some of them are biological, some of them are more cultural, I would say, right? So so there are certain types of biological changes. As we get older, for example, I'm, I'm 50 now, right? So, so that means that as we get older, there are certain types of cognitive responses that are not as fast as before. We're actually responding to pretty less emotional. I, you know, when I did my PhD, I studied how cognitive and emotional responses change as we get older from, you know, 18 to 86 years old. So I changed and you know, look at how the brain uh, changes and how cognitive and emotional changes over, over with aging, right? And what we've seen is that people with older age tend to have a, a, a lower emotional response in general. They don't get as excited or as, 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 they, as kind of as uh, fearful as uh, younger people. And we also see that uh, cognitive load, kind of the ability to hold information and contain complex information also gets down with age. Um, so that means that when you communicate to different age groups, you should bear in mind that emotions, maybe you should boost the emotions a little bit and you should reduce the amount of information because of the complexity of, of the information. Um, that's that's kind of a few things. I would say that I can understand where you come from when it comes to kind of generations, because I, of of course you know putting a label on you know hundreds of millions of people. I uh, I think that the only way to think about that is that you might think of maybe there's like within each culture. So uh, in, in in Scandinavia, for example, or in 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 Northern Europe, for example, there's kind maybe there's a Gen Z component. You know, I'm a Gen X myself. And I have so many times had this kind of eerie talk with, you know, I have a, one of my colleagues here is uh, from South Africa, for example, and he grew up, he's like two years my senior or something. We grew up doing exactly the same thing. We made the mixtapes. We were exposed to the same ads. We were exposed to, you know, the yo-yo, you know, the, the, the frenzies and all these things. So we kind of grew up very much feeling that when we talk about things, we're kind of exposed to the same kind of cultural, kind of Western cultural things at the time. So I think that that might be like the common denominator is what you have been exposed to as a as a generational thing, because you've kind of lived through the same period, so to speak. So on average, you have maybe been exposed to certain things. Now, there is a big variance in, you know, individual differences, gender effects and things like that. But I think that maybe that's how we should think about generations. It's not so much that this generation is almost like hard coded to respond in a way. It's more that they have been culturally being exposed to certain things over a period of time. Well, that's, I think you're talking more about like some sort of uh, meme or like memes and sort of like a scientific sense or like ideas which yeah. people prefer to. Like the big thing about Simpsons was at the time is that everybody in America watched it. Like, I'm not sure how about it was for Europe, but everybody in America watched it. And it was like the same kind of cultural jokes going on. Right. But right. again, when I try to have those discussions with like Gen Z marketers or again, as I like research their content, uh, their interviews, their stuff, they default to things such as young people don't trust the government. Young people want to have money to be in their own. Young people are rebels, like more rebellious, more freedom loving. And I just kind of think about it. And I'm like, OK, that is all true. But like, it's not Gen Z specific. This is no. 
young people specific most you could just go, yeah you could just go back to i think it's some some of the early uh, writings of uh, or references to socrates for example and i think plato and socrates they kind of have a they have a kind of a that's part of a passage that says like oh these young people they're always kind of making a fuss and they're not really up to doing any good or because like basically you could just take that text and you can put it into an equal age person like me is saying something about young people today, right? So it would be exactly the same. So you're absolutely right about that. So that's why I, I see more the kind of the generational thing more as a as a kind of what you have been exposed to, so to speak. So, you know, one thing that, and especially kind of the big trends, I would say. So as a Gen X, for example, you would be growing up under the Cold War, for example. And that has definitely kind of provided a type of sentiment or a type of thinking and you know also the, the 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 rocky movies and all the kind of the war movies and vietnam movies and all that so that, that had definitely kind of a an impact on how you would approach things uh, the way i see it and there's but but you know is gen z in china and japan the same as a gen z in denmark and the us no i don't think so but it's but it's maybe it's kind of generational thing that's maybe we, sh we should we should just stick a label and say that's the solution yeah, well, no, definitely, like, because, like, again, Western culture, like, Western, broadly speaking, is kind of unified in the sense, and then the Asian culture is more unified, but then again, like, it's more like Chinese is probably its own uh, set of ideas which they share between themselves, and yep. uh, Japan is, Japan is, like, a completely different world, so, like, I, I don't get what they have going there, uh, but I'm just thinking, like, for me, uh, so I was born in the 90s, and I probably relate more to the Gen X uh, of the Western world because that's when the uh, Soviet Union fell apart and we started getting sure. uh, we started getting Rocky movies and Star Wars yep. movies and Terminator movies. So a lot of my like yeah like I was I watched this movies like way before I should have probably but that is because they became available and yeah. uh, I'm not sure I'm like as exposed to being like what is commonly known as Gen Z right now. But right. in regarding uh, the communication, and as you said, like, obviously your cognitive uh, abilities change throughout your life. Yes, there is a different way you approach young people, but there is a different way you approach young people in general, not that mm. Gen Z, like you, you're going to be approaching Gen Alpha probably the same. Well, with the exception, you're going to use different... Uh, I guess like forms you're going to use different uh, cultural heroes or like other social events which happen yeah. that's uh, like my feeling but like again nobody in gen z wants to talk with me for some reason <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can uh, make something happen you know maybe we'll reach out to uh, i don't know there could be some people that would be interested uh listening to this podcast <laughs> sure that would be great 